This is adding a TikTok-like video section to your Shopify store. Now you can display compelling vertical videos in a smooth and satisfying carousel. This section showcases three vertical style videos that autoplay and pause and give mute and unmute capabilities. It also links to a product below the video. I've seen sections like this featured on stores that have amazing website content. If you have some high quality vertical videos, then this is the perfect way to showcase it. This is extremely easy to add. Just copy and paste the code into a new file and voila. It consists of HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Shopify section schema. It's fully customizable for the videos you'd like to display and the products you would like to link to. In this guide, I'll walk you through adding it to your store step by step. Let's get started. The first thing you're gonna do is come into your online store and you're gonna have a duplicate theme ready. Uh, I'm gonna use the admin for this. Sometimes I like to use my local theme editor, but I'm gonna keep this simple and come in here to my three dot menu and click edit code. And then the first thing I'm gonna do is come into the sections directory here. I'm gonna add a new section and I'm gonna call it tiktokvideo.liquid, but you can name it really whatever you'd like. After we have our new file created, first we're gonna start with the CSS code. So um, we are just gonna follow the link in my description and you can copy all of this and paste it in one big file if you, if you want. I'm gonna paste it in three different sections just so I can talk about it a little bit here. But I'm gonna remove everything that is currently in the file and I'm gonna paste everything between these style brackets. So I'm not gonna talk too much about um, all of these here, but just trust what this is doing is this is making the uh, sizing and the colors and everything style the way that we want it to. So if we have our CSS in here successfully, now we can move on to our HTML. So I will copy everything in the HTML and paste it right below my styles. So I'll come right below and paste. We have these divs uh, all over and they should be contained in something called the container. And uh, you'll see right here, we're doing a few things with our liquid to reference our videos. So we'll have some customizable settings, of course. For the, video, uh, for, the, for the videos that we're gonna select and as well as like the product that we want to show the link um, below the video as well. So everything's looking pretty good so far. Now uh, we can move on and grab our JavaScript. So this is gonna be everything that's between the script tags. And I'm gonna paste this right below the HTML. All right, cool. So now you can see I have this closing script and this opening script. A lot going on, but I'll just try to go through it really quickly. We're waiting for the DOM to completely load. And then after that, we're gonna grab a few of these items, the things in the HTML, like the carousel items. So the next button, the previous button, this is just making sure that when we click, it's successfully going to move to the video that we want it to of the, th of the three that are there. So the HTML looks good. Um, we also have this function here, by the way, that we're gonna use to navigate to the product that we select. But now it is time to add our schema. So this is gonna include all of the customizable settings that we want to include here, including the video and uh, the product. So right below the script, I will paste this. You'll see the end schema and the schema. We also have the name here and we have the preset name here as well, TikTok video carousel, so that works. So now all I have to do is save and then I can come in to my customized theme. And if I come to my sections, I should be able to search for TikTok. I will add that here. Okay, and you'll see there's not really anything to see here, but I can see all of these settings. So what I'm gonna do is go through and add the assets that I want to um, include here. Okay, so once I've picked my three videos, and just keep in mind, video two is gonna be the one that's um, selected by default because it's in the middle. And then I'm gonna select the products that I want to appear underneath. After I hit save, I should be able to come here and preview this theme. And if I come down here, awesome, okay, everything looks good so far. Um, if I unmute, I can successfully hear the audio going. I'm not sure if that will come through in the video or not, but the mute button is working. Um, and if I click around, I can see that it is auto playing and then it auto pauses when I navigate away. The buttons are also working, so everything looks good. And if we test on mobile, I can see everything still works as we expect. So this looks good. All right. Well, this has been creating a TikTok video player. I hope that this has been helpful. If you have any uh, concerns or comments, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next time.